What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with the Jerry Stackhouse Diamond card. Again, sorry a bit about my voice, but it's a lot better than it was two days ago. Yesterday was, it was just really, really bad, so I couldn't upload a video, I just genuinely couldn't speak yesterday. But taking a day off has helped a lot, so hopefully from now on I'll be able to get one to two videos out a day. But anyway, Stackhouse has got 96 offense, 92 defense, but overall he's a 6'6 two guard. He's got one Hall of Fame badge and it's Hall of Fame tired of score, 14 gold badges. Mid-range Jedi, one-man fast break, lob city passer, difficult shots, pick and popper, pick and roll maestro, corner specialist, catch and shoot, lob city finisher, posterizer, acrobat, teardrop, relentless finisher, and break starter. So he's got some nice badges there. He has also got 96 driving layup, 96 standing layup. He's got a decent enough post fadeaway of, sorry, of 82. He's got an open shot mid 94, open shot 3 of 88, which is good, especially with a coach that goes up to like 92. 94 driving dunk is really, really nice. He's a driving intensity of 95 as well. He's got 86 ball control, which is good. Decent steal, decent shot contest. He's got good speed, speed, ball, and acceleration. Good vertical 94, good lateral quickness. Good on, or not great on ball defense by Q, but his decent lateral quickness and his length means he should be quite a good defender. And to be completely honest, like, he has, he's exactly what you want from a card. He can shoot the ball, he can shoot the three, he can shoot the mid, he can dunk, and he can play defense, and he's long and athletic. So, that's pretty much all you want from a card in 2K. So, the team we are running with is Jerry Stackhouse at the one, Clay at the two, Scotty Pippen at the three. I'm going to put in, I'm actually going to change it up. Um, I'm going to replace Ralph Sampson with Porzingis. I have yet to use Porzingis, and... He should be a beast in game anyway. And yeah, like Porzingis, 95, 92, 85, 7 3. He's got 10 gold badges. See his stats. Open shot 3 of 90 is really good. Good open shot mid. Great block rating, decent rebounding. Not actually the fastest. He was actually way faster in previous years. But uh, yeah, this guy should be quite good to use. So anyway, yep, this is the team we are running with. Of the bench, we've got Gilbert Arenas, Hito Turkoglu, Danny Granger, Andre Karolenko, and Tom Gugliata, Ralph Samson, Yanis, and Brandon Roy rounding off the bench. So anyway, now we're going to go over the hot zones for Jerry Stackhouse, and we're also actually going to go over them for Porzingis, because I haven't used them in a gameplay yet, and then we are going to get on to the game. So just quickly, going over Porzingis' hot zones, he's got hot zones in most spots on the floor, and, well, like, of course, this is Chris Stapps Porzingis. He is going to be one of the best shooters in the game, because he's got one of the best big man releases. So now it's just green one three, and now it's gone to Stackhouse. So Jerry Stackhouse has got hot zones pretty much everywhere on the floor. His release is okay, I guess. I think, I'm not sure, I'm not even sure if I used Jerry Stackhouse at all last year. Actually, no, I think I used his Ruby at one stage for a while last year. But I did actually use Stackhouse a lot in 2K17, because remember back when the, what was it, the Domination Rewards? And I can't remember, everyone picked someone else, but I picked Jerry, everyone picked Steve Francis, that was it. And I picked Jerry Stackhouse, and I just felt the Stackhouse was a way better card. He was just, man, that Amethyst, that Amethyst Jerry Stackhouse was so good. And then when they gave him a dynamic duo with, was it Tayshaun Prince or Rip Hamilton, one of those two at the end of the year? They gave him a dynamic duo with them, and he just became a beast again. So, um, I have tended to like Stackhouse 2K. His Amethyst is actually was a beast when it first came out this year. And in general, Stackhouse is normally quite a good card. He's like a perfect player to use the meta. He can shoot, he can go to the basket, he knew everything you want from a card. But I just think he's kind of going to be outclassed this year because there are just so, so many super OP cards. And normally cards aren't this OP this early, but obviously in 2K19 they are. So anyway, now it's just green 1 3. And oh, I thought that would have been green. Let's go. Really? Come on. But we're not very good with his release anyway. Pulling it short most times. Now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing against Russell Westbrook, James Harden, LeBron, AD, and Carl Anthony Towns. I'm surprised he's got a team this high rating and a card as bad as Russell Westbrook in it, but hey, it is what it is. Hopefully we're okay. Oh my god, just as I'm recording this video, I found out that Chris Dapp's Porzingis has been traded to the Dallas Mavericks. What the hell is going on? Porzingis and Doncic together next year. Let's go. New York, you are are just not smart. You are just that's just not a smart move to make. I get it, you just get you just kinda of make up for the fact that you screwed up your draft by drafting Nilakina over Dennis Smith Jr. That doesn't mean you trade Porzingis for him. Fade away. Alright shot. Unlucky. I'm not even concentrating right now. There's a force into three body, can't shoot. Okay, okay. I've kinda of calmed down since the trade. I know I'm back in the game. He's oh my god, he's just doubling everything. This is really frustrating because I'm not gonna be able to score much at all with Stackhouse in this situation. I can win this game easily enough, but I won't be able to showcase him. 
Bang. There we go. Actually, maybe I can as long as I don't have the ball in his hands. Jerry Stackhouse wide open for three. Early release again. You think, like, I know it wasn't the best release, but you think one of those two would have gone in. There we go. Easy dunk. Nice and easy two points there. We're down four, but still early, early days. Not a good shot by Harden. Good board, Stackhouse. Let's go. Oh, come on. Stackhouse from mid. Good shot. There we go. All right. He's got our first six points. Wide open. Green light. There we go. I think we can punish him, especially if we do stack in on the base 11 players. The cover range wide open. There we go. With this lineup, he doubles, and with how fast these base 11 shooters shoot, it's a wide open three almost every possession, unless this guy changes up his defense. Which I don't think he will. He's done the same thing every single possession, so I don't think he's going to change it up. Brandon Roy's hands. From deep. Good shot. There we go. We're up by four. Good cut, Danny Granger. Wide open. This guy's got to change up his defense. He has got to change it up. Like as soon as we got used to it, it just be, it's become a massacre. Like, and this is going to be a complete massacre. Three ball, good pass, good shot. There we go. Good job there by Jerry Stackhouse. And now we built up quite a big lead. Straight to the basket, Jerry Stackhouse with the dunk. Let's go. Which at this stage in the game is kind of what you want from a diamond card. Green light. Let's go. Good job. He's now got shot creating takeover and slasher. That's a nice combination to have. And we'll try to have shot creating sharpshooter. Shot creating slasher is good as well. To the basket. Jerry Stackhouse jams it on them. Let's go. Fall up. Good shot. There we go. All right. Stackhouse has had a quite a good second quarter there. Hopefully he keeps this up and has a really good second half. Corner for Granger. Three. Fall white. And he knocks it down. This lead is now 15 points at halftime. We are now very, very comfortable, and we have scored 48 points in a half, which is nuts. Good shot there. Let's go. Oh, straight to the basket. Good job, Jerry Stackhouse. Nice dunk there. Let's go. Okay, that's wide open. Green light. Let's go. Stackhouse is, though, he's, out. he's been much better than he was in the first, anyway. Okay, we got to step on him. Easy dunk. Oh, what a dunk there by Jerry Stackhouse. 12 or 19 25 points that is not a bad showing at all like he hasn't shot the three too well he hasn't hit enough a lot of fadeaway shots which i kind of would have hoped for him but he's dunking extremely well and like these guys are sending doubles sending triple teams to him and he's still burning teams to the basket jerry stackhouse swatted there we go that's a wide on three in the corner green light let's go okay he's pulled lebron out of there and cut straight to the basket with stackhouse Draws the felt. There we go. I think this is actually his first time on the free throw line. Okay, he's got a 90 free throw. So we should have both of these anyway. There we go. Nice spin. Nice layup. There we go. He's now got 32 points. Okay, we've now got Kigli out of takeover. It's scary when he gets takeover. He does not miss. Green light, let's go. Does not matter if Anthony Davis won the best defense cards and games in front of him. Googly eye does not miss when he gets takeover. Good shot. And it's another three pointer for him. Okay, that's way too wide open. That's another three pointer for Tom Googly Adder. He's now got 19 points and they've just left him open pretty much every time. And their face pulls up and knocks it down again. A pull up. Good shot. There we go. Wide open, green light. Let's go. He completely torched me with LeBron, though. Like, completely torched me. Oh, wide open. Probably should have taken the dunk or layup there, but he knocks down the midi. Oh, straight to the basket. Woo, let's go, Jerry Stackhouse. That's a great way to get your 40 point to the game. Who knows? With this with takeover, he might be on for 50. It took me a second to even remember if there was an Amethyst Auto Depot. What a layup. Green light. Green light. There we go. Six more to go. He might actually hit the 50. Fine. Good shot. Three more. We've now got 110 points and are up by 40. Try to the basket. Will he dunk on Giannis? Nope, but he draws the foul. 90 free throw. He should hit one of these. There we go. That's 50 points for him. 
and he's now got 51, which is even cra which is crazy considering in the first quarter, I think he had like six points. Green light, let's go, 54. So his LeBron went four of four from three, six of eight from the field, which is unbelievable. His James Harden was a plus one while he was on the floor. Really? He lost by 40 and he was a plus one in half the game. So for the half the game James Harden was on, they were winning. For us, Jerry Stackhouse plus eight, 23 of 34 from the field, scored 54 points, four of eight from three, four of four from the free throw line, one rebound and assist. Tom Googly added nine of 13 in the second half, though he was seven of eight and four of five and three with 18 points. Second half, Googly, or sorry, um, Jerry Stackhouse, 16 of 22. He had a really, really good second half there. The bench just killed him, like plus 33 for Googly Ada, 21 for Reigns, 31 for Danny Granger, with both of these guys having 11 points. Brandon Roy at seven, Borzingas at five, Kurlenko at eight, Sorry, her curling got four, Samson at three, and the rest of the team did not score. So anyway, that's the video. Jerry Stackhouse is really good. Like, really, really good. If you're looking at two guards, I would honestly say he's not on the level of any of the absolute elite two guards. These, these guards are all like 100k plus. But I'd say he's on the level of, I don't know, a different, different type of a card. He doesn't shoot as well. But he's on the level of, say... I don't know, Ray Allen maybe, Mitch Richmond? Yeah, like a different card, but kind of on that level. Definitely usable in the God Squad. Isn't gonna be your best player, but he can slash to the basket super well, he shoots the ball super well, and he's just an absolute beast of a card. Great animations, feels like a defender, and is so, so good in game. So anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.